the, the narration that we see an authentic mention of Jibreel in the story of Musa is actually with his enemy, it's with Fir'aun. And it's an authentic hadith in a Tirmidhi that Jibreel came to the Prophet ﷺ and he told the Prophet ﷺ, you should have seen me the day that Fir'aun died. Now, why would Jibreel even be telling him this? Is it to, you know, like, you want to know what I did to Fir'aun the day he died? No, it's to show the Prophet ﷺ, like, look, Abu Jahl is a mini Fir'aun. Wait to see what happens to him. And Abu Lahab, don't worry. You should have seen me the day Fir'aun died. Prophet ﷺ said, what happened? Jibreel ﷺ said, as he was drowning in the bottom of the sea, he said, I went and I found him and I started kicking dirt into his mouth. فَخَشِيتُ أَنْ يَقُولَ لَا إِلَهَ إِلَّا اللَّهِ فَيْرَحَمُهُ اللَّهِ he said, because I was afraid that he would say La ilaha illallah, that he would repent and Allah would have mercy on him. Who does this hadith tell you about more than Jibreel Islam? Allah, right? Who knows Allah better than Jibreel? And Jibreel knows that Allah is so merciful that even Fir'aun has a chance. And he was afraid that with that one moment of repentance, Allah would void all of those years of corruption and tyranny. And by the way, you know, I know that you know, we like to compare modern day dictators to Fir'aun, rightfully so, but Fir'aun is the worst, right? You've got to understand that. You know, I know, and, and this is the consensus of the scholars, right? That Fir'aun is the worst human being. I mean, he combines all of the worst qualities in a person that's ever been created, you know, uh, through mankind. He's here. Right, and he's the worst of them all. And a lot of times people say, well, this dictator is worse than Fir'aun. No, he's not worse than Fir'aun. No tyrant's worse than Fir'aun. Jibreel is worried that Fir'aun has a chance with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, did Jibreel ruin his fate? Did Jibreel mess it up for him? No, Allah told Jibreel after that, Ya Jibreel, wa izzati wa jalali. I swear by my glory and my honor that lo istaghathani wa istaghfarani ghafartu la. If he would have sought forgiveness from me sincerely, I still would have forgiven him. You're putting dirt in his mouth would not have stopped it, okay? I still would have forgiven him. Now here's the thing, you might think, well, why the dirt in the mouth? When wicked people die anyway, the malaika do what? The angels do what? Yadribuna wujuhum, they're hitting them in the face. Jibreel just gave an extra kick to Fir'aun. Like he really hated Fir'aun. Why did Jibreel hate Fir'aun so much? Was it because Fir'aun dissed Jibreel one day when he was talking to Musa Islam, like you and that angel that comes to you, is that why? No. Listen to what he says to the Prophet he said, أَبْغَطُهُ يَوْمَ سَمِعْتُهُ يَقُولْ أَنَا رَبُّكُمُ الْأَعْلَى I hated him the day I heard him say, I am your Lord the Most High. When Fir'aun had the audacity to stand up and say, I am your Lord the Most High, the, the hatred that Jibreel developed for Fir'aun was unprecedented. And subhanAllah, that shows you something about Jibreel. And in hadith literature, sometimes when Jibreel came to the Prophet ﷺ, he did not say, Allah says, he said, Al-A'la. The Most High says, the Most High has done. Which shows the status or, 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 or the regard that Jibreel shows for his Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala.